week, our office attended the uh, Southeastern Concerned Citizen Coalition monthly meeting at the Park uh, Multi Service Center. Uh, I want to thank uh, Ms. Linda Skurlock, the president, for inviting us out and for her great leadership out in Karen Clark. Uh, this past Sunday, I attended uh, the Raindrop Foundation, the NEPTAR dinner with the Raindrop <coughs> Foundation. And I'd like to uh, thank the Met uh, Okmus for the president and CEO of the Raindrop Foundation for inviting me to this dinner and, and, uh, and really all the, uh, congratulate them for all the great work they're doing in District K. Uh, this past Monday, uh, I attended the uh, Maryland Area Democrats meeting. Fattest Mediterranean Grill. Uh, Mayor was a guest speaker. She did a great job talking about the city budget. And so I want to uh, congratulate and thank Art Cronin for inviting us out. I think we all had a good time on uh, Monday. Uh, we are continually updating our database, and so we're asking that uh, all of the District 8 neighborhoods, if you change uh, officers or contact information, please contact the office and let us know so we can make sure we have the right information on you. Uh, this Friday and Saturday, we're extremely excited. We'll be hosting a two-day uh, grant opportunity workshop from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And so this is a working meeting. We're asking all of our nonprofits to please sign up, bring your lap laptops to the meeting. Uh, we will be discussing over half a million dollars in grant opportunities that are on the screen now. And we'll be working with you to sign up for these actual opportunities. So if you are a nonprofit uh, operating in District K, we'd love to have you. And that it would be this Friday and Saturday at the South Gessner HPD substation. Um, some friendly reminders, the Hiram Clark Bridging the Community Divide will host their meeting tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Hiram Clark Multi-Service Center. All stakeholders are requested to attend. Uh, Representative Boris Miles is hosting a public community meeting regarding the proposed Southern Crushed Concrete Plant adjacent to the Willow Water Hole on Tuesday, July 29th at 7 p.m. at Westbury High School. The meeting will be held within the school's lecture room. This will be an opportunity for the public to ask questions and air their concerns about the proposed plan, the proposed plan to the TECQ and Southern Concrete uh, Executives. Even if people don't want to speak, it's important to have a large crowd to show TECQ that this is an important issue for the neighborhood. I strongly encourage those living around this facility to attend. Uh, the Precinct 287 Civic Association is hosting their annual civic meeting on Tuesday, July 29th at 7.30 p.m. at Willow Meadows Baptist Church, located at 4300 West Velvet Avenue. I encourage all members of Willow uh, Meadows to be in attendance. We also would like to bid farewell to Daniel Jones. He was our intern uh, uh, for the uh, summer internship program. He'll be leaving us uh, this week. He'll be attending the University of Chicago this fall, so we're very pleased that we had him uh, this summer. He did a fantastic job, so congratulations to Daniel and good luck. And finally, uh, there will be a special call, TTI, Transportation Technology and Infrastructure Meeting, on next Tuesday. Uh, uh, the only issue on the agenda will be that of uh, Chapter 46, the Vehicle for Hire uh, Ordinance. Uh, we will discuss our findings uh, after several meetings. Uh, Councilman Stark and, and myself has had with the industry and also the proposed changes to the ordinance. We're asking all our colleagues to attend. Uh, I believe it will be on next week's agenda for, for the vote, and so we want to make sure everybody has an opportunity uh, to hear from, from all parties. Thank you.